all know that Elizabeth I was the daughter of Henry VIII by his second wife, Anne Boleyn, and that she reigned from the 17th of November 1558 until her death on the 24th of March 1603. But let me share with you a few more facts about her. Number one, Elizabeth was born at Greenwich Palace on the 7th of September 1533, making her a Virgo, which seems appropriate for the Virgin Queen. Number two, Elizabeth was christened on the 10th of September 1533, and her godparents were Thomas Cramner, Archbishop of Canterbury, Agnes Howard, nay Tilney, Dowager Duchess of Norfolk, Margaret Grey, nay Watton, Marchioness of Dorset, and Gertrude Courtney, Marchioness of Exeter. Number three, Elizabeth had a fine humanist education and learnt Latin, French, Italian and Greek. She could also speak some Spanish and some Welsh. Number four, Elizabeth was made illegitimate in 1536 by an Act of Parliament following her mother's fall and the annulment of her parents' marriage. Number five, she joined her stepmother Catherine Parr's household following the death of her father, King Henry VIII. Number six. In 1548, during her time in Catherine's household, Elizabeth experienced at best inappropriate behaviour, but really what amounts to sexual abuse from her stepmother's husband, Thomas Seymour. Number seven. Seymour's fall led to Elizabeth and her servants, Cat Ashley and Thomas Parry, being interrogated regarding him plotting to marry Elizabeth. Number eight. Although Elizabeth, like her half-sister Mary, was restored to the line of succession by her father before he died, he never overturned her illegitimacy. And during her reign, the Pope and some of Catholic Europe saw Mary Queen of Scots as the true Queen of England. Number nine. In Mary I's reign, in 1554, Elizabeth was imprisoned in the Tower of London for two months after being implicated in Wyatt's Rebellion. She was kept in the royal apartments, the same ones her mother Anne Boleyn was imprisoned in in 1536. Elizabeth was also released on the 19th of May 1554, the anniversary of her mother's execution. Number 10. Elizabeth wasn't given her freedom until October 1555. She was under house arrest at Woodstock Palace and then was called to court in April 1555 to attend on the Queen. Number 11. Elizabeth was 25 years old when she became Queen on the 17th of November 1558. Number 12. Elizabeth was crowned Queen on the 15th of January 1559 at Westminster Abbey by Owen Oglethorpe, Bishop of Carlisle, who defied the instructions he'd been given and elevated the host. Number 13. Elizabeth's coronation date was chosen by Dr John Dee, who used astrology to choose an auspicious date. Number 14. Elizabeth may have called herself the lion's cub, referring to her father, King Henry VIII, but contrary to myth, she didn't shy away from her Boleyn heritage. She made use of her mother's falcon badge, portraits of Anne Boleyn were painted and works about her written. And in 1578, on a visit to Norwich Cathedral, Elizabeth asked for her throne to be moved so that it faced the Boleyn Chapel. Number 15. Strangely, when the widowed Mary, Queen of Scots, returned to Scotland from France, Elizabeth put forward her favourite, Robert Dudley, as a potential bridegroom and had the idea that the three of them could live together. Number 16. Elizabeth had quite a temper. It was alleged that she broke her lady, Mary Shelton's finger, when she found out about her secret marriage and it was said that she'd given another lady a great blow with a knife upon the hand. Number 17, now this is a shocking one. Elizabeth I was a man, 
Well, of course, she wasn't. But the Bisley Boy legend, which was made famous by Bram Stoker, said she was. I'll give you a link to my video on that legend. It's quite interesting. Number 18. Elizabeth gave her favourites and friends nicknames. For example, Robert Dudley was her eyes, William Sissel her spirit, Sir Christopher Hatton her mouton, Sir Francis Walsingham her moor, and the Duke of Anjou was her frog. Number 19. Elizabeth I had a sweet tooth and was said to be particularly partial to candied violets. Number 20. Elizabeth had a way with words. She wrote poetry and prayers and gave rousing speeches, such as her Tilbury speech and her Golden speech. Number 21. The American colony of Virginia was named after Elizabeth the Virgin Queen. Number 22. Elizabeth may have started her reign wanting religious tolerance and saying that she had no desire to make windows into men's souls. But following her excommunication and the Pope's instructions for her Catholic subjects to disobey her and rise up against her, her government began to persecute Jesuit priests and those who helped them. Number 23. Elizabeth was the Queen of Propaganda. The anniversary of her accession was celebrated annually with Accession Day. She went on regular royal progresses to show herself to her people. Publications were censored by her government, her speeches were published, and she and her government controlled the portraits that were painted of her to make sure that her image was ageless. Her portraits were also full of symbolism regarding her virginity, the idea that she was like a phoenix rising from the ashes, a pelican who pecks its own breast to make itself bleed to feed its young, so the idea of self-sacrifice, and that England's victory over the Spanish Armada was due to the Protestant wind, God being on England's side. Number 24. In September 1588, Elizabeth was grief-stricken by Robert Dudley's death. It was reported that she shut herself in her chamber for days and refused to speak to anyone. It got so bad that William Cecil, Lord Burley, gave the order for her doors to be broken down. She kept the farewell letter he wrote her in a special treasure box which she kept at the side of her bed. She labelled it his last letter. And finally, number 25. Elizabeth I ruled as queen for over 44 years and was the last of the Tudor monarchs. So I hope there are a few of those at least that you didn't know. Elizabeth I is a fascinating lady and I think one of England's greatest monarchs. Now you can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live and you can of course give me a like and leave me a comment. Take care. Bye-bye. Brilliant.